I'm originally from uh, Monroe, Louisiana, uh, by way of Dallas, Texas. I've been living in California since uh, 1979. Came here, started a restaurant with my brother uh, in Compton, California. Um, we uh, ran the restaurant for about a couple years, and uh, most of our business came from, um, from the uh, GM plant, which produced Cadillacs. The Cadillac plant went out of business uh, in the early 80s, somewhere around 81, and our business fell off. So my brother and I just made a decision to, to split the profits and whatever we had and move on to some other things. Natal is a gardener caretaker. Um, for the most part, we have a, um, a three-fold um, goal here, which is, like I said, clean, green, and curb appeal. We try to keep the grass as green as we can, as clean as we possibly can, all the debris off the grounds, and all around the curves. We try to keep all the curves clean, anything around the park, in the vicinity of the park because things that are near the park will eventually end up on the ground. So we try to, if you see the, the curbs are clean, you will automatically assume that the rest of the park is clean because that's the part many people don't take care of, the curb. Basically, those are the things we do, but we do a lot of other things. We trim trees. I uh, maintain the irrigation system. Uh, we do the sandbox. We make sure that all the debris is out of the sandbox so the kids won't get injured or hurt. There are just a lot of small things we do that the public never sees. We just try to keep a wholesome, clean environment for the public. The toughest part is uh, keeping up with the vandalism, uh, graffiti, people using the restrooms in different areas, uh, corners, uh, of, of the buildings, of, of the infrastructure. Everything else I can deal with pretty good, but I, I hate to see the vandalism. I find guns and knives in bushes, under equipment, hidden in different areas, in needles, uh, uh, crack pipes, um, um, marijuana pipes, things like that. And you see a lot of them smoking it, too. Those are about the strangest things I've found. And I haven't um, found any dead bodies yet, but <laughs> I'm hoping I don't. <laughs>
I mean, there was a stench around the place. I mean, there were windows broken. There was vandalism. There was every inch of the building was vandalized. Uh, when I looked at it, I said, you know, I, it's going to take a while to turn this thing around. And I said, I don't know if I ever will. But I requested uh, a crew to, to help me uh, turn this thing around. The first crew I uh, requested that came in to help, they just gave up. I mean, they, when they saw it, they just got to say, oh, no, I just, we just can't do it. You know, it, it'll never happen. You'll never make it, you, you never turn around. I said, no, we're going to turn this place around. So I, I requested another crew. Um, so I got a crew on that, the second request, I got a crew that was really dedicated, that uh, really wanted to help me do, turn this thing around. So we got busy, we rolled up our sleeves, we, we scraped grime, and grease, uh, we just went through everything that we saw that was dilapidated or need repair or need replacing, and we just changed everything. And um, once they start seeing the park uh, start shaping up and people start coming by giving us uh, a little praise and giving us a, 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 a accolades about how they liked the park and how things were changing, the neighborhood began to change. Around the neighborhood where all the homes were, people start to cutting the grass, people start painting the fences, they start taking all these old cars that weren't running out of the yard, they start doing all the things that would make the house a home look good. So the park was a reflection of the neighborhood. As the park changed, the neighborhood changed. And it was just a total transformation. The whole park became that little haven in the middle of the neighborhood. All because of you. Yeah, well, I hope so. I hope so because, I mean, I, I just took it under my wing that I was going to change this thing. It was an opportunity for me to make a difference in, 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 in the world. Maybe I may not make another difference anywhere else. But like I say, it's a labor of love and I don't mind doing it because when I leave in the afternoons, I want this park to be sparkling because this park is representative of who I am.